Hi, I'm Patrick Taylor, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing some new filament I got. Now, unlike normal 3D printing filament, which is plastic, usually PLA or ABS, this is wood filament. It's not completely wood filament, it's 40% wood, and the rest is, I presume, some resin or plastic. Um, but it can, it can go through a normal 3D printer like mine, and I'm going to be testing it out today. I'm going to be testing it on an OWL object, which is on Thingiverse, I'll put the link in the description. I'm currently printing out a version of this in plastic first, just to see how it goes, and then I'll be comparing it with the wood version. Um, I think in the wood version there's going to be some differences between materials, and I'm particularly looking out for overhangs and the general printing quality. Also, I'd like to experiment with different colours going up the model. So, with wood filament, you can print at different temperatures to give different hues to the wood. Uh, also, it can apparently be sanded down really nicely, sawn and painted just like normal wood. So, I'll start printing it and see how it goes. Okay, so finally I got round to printing it off. It's a few days later now, I'm afraid. And the first thing that probably strikes you when you look at this owl is why is it in two pieces? Surely it should be in one piece, like this owl. And I will indeed come on to that later. So, my first impression of the wood filament is that it seems to work fairly well. It's perhaps not as easy to work with as PLA, but it does just about work. I wrote a small Python script to adjust the temperature of the print as it as it went up the owl and I think you can see that fairly well here. So it starts off fairly light, uh, cold at the bottom and ends up quite dark at the top. So this is a really nice feature which is which is really good to have. Um, so it is obviously broken in half but this does give me a nice opportunity to show you inside and to see the infill that we have which isn't as good as you might expect, certainly not from PLA plastic. It's sort of bunched up in the middle and it's not stuck that well. Although, ironically, in, in this second half it has done. It's done a bit, a bit better. Um, so the reason it broke in half was because it jammed up slightly. And this isn't surprising as it does have 40% wood, uh, wood inside the filament. And this sort of gets jammed up in the hot end and yeah, it doesn't work very well. And so mid print, this happened, and I had to unjam it. Um, and I unjammed it with some PLA, which of course meant that there was a little bit of PLA printing out when I set it going again. And this created a weak point. And the second reason why it broke in half was because it sticks way too well to the heated bed. I'd already done one of these prints, uh, which is here, with a with a lay wood base and this actually took up some of the capped on tape which I've got on my heated bed it stuck so well so on this one I tried printing with a PLA base and this, and this did help to some extent but it still stuck quite well so when I was pulling off at the weak point it snapped in two which is rather unfortunate but it gives me a chance to show you the inside um, the detailing on the outside is pretty good, I think. Not quite as detailed as the PLA, but still still quite impressive. Um, although, as you can see, the top up here is a bit messed up. Uh, it is on both of them, but more so on the wood. Uh, this is because the top layers are really small, and the hot end just sort of drags around the molten plastic, or laywood in this case. So. I think to reduce this, the outside could do with a little bit of cooling, perhaps, an extra fan. And indeed that's a project I'm working on at the minute, along with another mod to add some LEDs to the side of my printer in order, in order to light up the print a little bit more. So I'll see you next time and hopefully detail that a bit more. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>